Good afternoon. My name is Rafael Espinal. I'm the chair of the Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing Committee. Today, our committee will be voting on a range of resolutions aimed at licensing and fairly regulating the recreational marijuana industry should it be legalized by the state. Statements from both Governor Cuomo and governors and members of the state legislature indicate that making recreational marijuana legal in New York State is a major priority. Ensuring the safe, workable, and just regulation of recreational marijuana will take a nuanced approach as there are a range of complex issues that will need to be considered. At the state level, it will be vital to have uniform standards for potency levels and restrictions for young people. However, the city must also have the regulatory authority to effectively address the hyper-localized issues that we can expect to surface once recreational marijuana becomes legal. As such, proposed Reso number 737A calls on the New York State Legislature to pass legislation that grants New York City agencies the authority to regulate local licensing of the adult use at cannabis market in the city. The city already has similar powers related to tobacco licensing. Despite the plethora of state laws that regulate tobacco and the, sa and the sales across the state of New York, the city has the ability to license and restrict tobacco retailers. Using this authority and to prevent the concentration of tobacco retailers in particular neighborhoods, New York City has capped the number of tobacco and electronic cigarette retailer licenses according to each community district. Any New York State laws enacted to govern recreational marijuana should similarly empower the city's legislators to create specifically tailored rules and regulations. Consumer attitudes in the city differ from those in the other parts of the state. For example, here, it is common for residents to use delivery services that are able to provide door-to-door -door delivery of everything from groceries, alcohol, and laundry to makeup services, chicken hatching eggs, and condoms. Proposed resolution number 734A, therefore, calls in the New York State Legislature to ensure that any law passed to legalize the market for the adult use of cannabis allows the city to enact its own regulatory measures on issues unique to its location, including the home delivery and cultivation of cannabis in New York City. Resolution number 738 calls on the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign legislation prohibiting vertical integration and promoting small business growth in the recreational marijuana industry. This will prevent a single entity from controlling and owning each stage of the supply chain because such monopolies can limit competition within an industry. With this authority, the city will create licenses for each stage within the supply chain, such as production, distribution, and retail, and limit the number of different licenses a single entity can obtain. This should prevent big market domination and open up opportunities for small entities, especially those affected by prior mar marijuana criminalization. New York's black and brown communities have been disproportionately, dis disproportionately impacted by marijuana enforcement policies and the negative collateral effects that result from such policies. In order to begin to remedy the disproportionate, disproportionate burdens imposed by the war on drugs, New York City should be empowered by the state to regulate certain aspects of marijuana licensing. For example, if the state implemented the measures called for in proposed Reso number 741A, the city will be able to prioritize individuals with prior marijuana convictions when issuing licenses. This would be a first step in trying to rectify some of the past racial inequities that stem from marijuana criminalization. Communities targeted for marijuana enforcement often have less access to capital, legal and technical expertise, and affordable rental space to launch marijuana businesses. Therefore, Reso 744 calls in the legislature to pass and the governor to sign a bill that remedies this disparate burdens placed on people of color in the enforcement of marijuana prohibition by reinvesting tax revenue generated from legal marijuana in their communities and encouraging their participation in the legal marijuana industry. This will give priority licensing, legal and technical advice, and zero interest subsidized loans funded through the marijuana tax revenue to these affected individuals. New York City will undoubtedly face its own set of unique challenges if recreational marijuana is legalized by the state, and any effort to address them will have to balance the range of complex and competing residential business and consumer demands. City agencies already regulate a wide range of similar industries and policy considerations, which indicates that they are well equipped to tackle the particular challenges New York City will face after legalization. City agencies are also in the best position to determine which local communities were most harmed by marijuana criminalization and to fashion equity regulations that seek to remedy those harms accordingly through meaningful economic opportunities. 
I, as the chair, recommend a yes vote. Uh, Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on consumer affairs and business licensing. All items are coupled. Chair Espinal. I vote aye. Chin. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Personally, I do not, at this moment in time, support legalizing recreational marijuana. But I do believe in local control. And I do believe what the resolution, you know, sets forth, that if it is legalized by the state, that I do want to make sure that New York City, we have the control over how it's being implemented. Uh, so for that reason, uh, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Cool. Mr. Chair, may I explain my vote? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all these resolutions, uh, I will oppose. Uh, I vote no, uh, because uh, like, uh, I think marijuana is a gateway drug. Yeah, if you if we legalize it, you will just encourage more people uh, smoking pot, and my community. Uh, it, uh, we receive a lot of calls from parents, uh, from neighborhood pe business people, from residents. They all said uh, oh, no on this uh, resolution. Um, that's why uh, I hope the state will vote no too. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we we're we're time. we're waiting actually for uh, Councilmember Brad Lander who's on his way. Councilmember Lander. Uh, I uh, gratefully uh, vote aye on all. By a vote of three in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Before I close out, I just want to make a last final statement on, on these bills, and especially on the legalization of marijuana, something I've been talking about for a while. And I cannot stress enough uh, that I believe that any, res, any um, revenue that comes out of the legalization of marijuana uh, must be re reinvested in, in communities uh, of color, especially those communities also that have been targeted uh, by over-enforcement of these laws. Uh, and uh, any, any plan to invest any of this money in CMT, I think, is a terrible and bad idea, and we should be uh, promoting economic growth within these communities. Uh, so with that said, uh, I would like to adjourn this meeting. Thank you.